Okay, so the other team is running a full court man-to-man -man press on you, and you're having troubles beating that press. That's probably why you're here. So let's get down to some full court press breaks that you can run against a full court man-to-man -man press defense. Really quickly, if you want a really easy offense, make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out offense that is down in the description below. Also, for the app that I'm using today, make sure to go check out the link down in the description below as well. But the blue team is on offense here and we want to score down here. So what can we do to be able to get this ball in bounds? Well, this first play that I like to run is called line. And what we are looking to do here is we will have our center. Hopefully he's fast. If he's not fast, maybe you're forward, but whatever. But generally your biggest player is going to be the farthest away. Your point guard is going to be here. You're gonna have a guard or somebody who can dribble the ball here. And and you're gonna have a big here your second best ball handler like your shooting guard or whatever he's gonna be the one inbound this can also be your fastest player on the court as well so just keep that in mind so what we are going to be looking to do is we're gonna have player five he's going to sprint down court and then he's going to cut in towards the basket player one is going to kind of do a little bit of a loop because he's on ball side he is going to be doing a little bit of a loop and then he's going to be cutting back in. He can also go straight if he's like 10 times faster than his defender. So we're gonna be like this. We're gonna be looking like this. Next, we're gonna have player four and player three, they are going to cross. Our number one options are to hit either player five or player one with a pass, and then they're gonna go in for the layup. This is gonna be a long one hand pass all the way down the court. We want to try and lead that pass so that player one and player five, whoever gets it, doesn't have to take any dribbles. They just go straight to the rim layup. If, for example, player one gets that ball and let's say his defender was right beside him and let's say player five was leading over here, you can make one more extra pass for that layup as well. But this is just a simple play that you can run when you're getting full court pressed. Now you're actually gonna notice this as a play that I've posted a lot about. Now normally this would be an elevator play that we would run to score a three point shot. However, this is going to be just a bit different. So we're gonna have player two, he is going to be using players four and five as a screen. They are going to be an elevator screen, which means that both of these players are going to be closing in so that when player two goes through, they're going to close on his man. Now, he should be wide open and he should have the whole court to himself. At the same time, we are going to have player one sprinting down court. The idea here is for player two to get that ball and to quickly pass down court to player one who can then go in for that layup. Now if player two wasn't open, player three's backup plan would be to hit player one all the way down court with that pass. So number one option, number two option, but even the number one option is going to pass to the number two option anyways, hopefully. And if not, then it's going to be easily a two on one play, in which case it should be a guaranteed basket anyways. Now what happens if those players were not open? Bottom player cuts across, top player cuts down. These guys are going to be following their men. Now player three goes down court, down middle, and we're going to try and hit him up going down middle because you always want to try and be depressed down the middle of the court. Now you can also run a similar play but a little bit different. Now instead of us setting up the elevator to go this way, what we are looking to do is to set up the elevator so that we're going this way. So player Players five and four are going to close after, in this case, player one goes through that screen. Player one goes through that screen. Our first option is to hit him with a pass down court. He could quite literally be one on zero for ages down court because if his man gets stuck between these two big guys, well, guess what? Generally speaking, big guys are not very fast while our point guard should be probably the fastest guy on the court, which means that this pass should be wide open all day long and it's a deadly 
play. If that pass is not open, let's say player one red was able to fight his way through. We're going to have players five and four set up a staggered screen, and that's when player two goes through. He's going to be going a bit higher so that we can get that pass through. Now we're hoping for a two-on-one situation down court. If player two is not open at this point, these guys just have to split. We have to hope that the ball gets in, and then we're going to try and hit the middleman back again. So there are three simple inbounds plays that you can run if you are being full court pressed in basketball with a man-to-man -man defense. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.